You can only do residency once, and uh, I really wanted to maximize my learning, and I really felt like Mayo Clinic, with uh, all of their facilities here, um, uh, was the best choice. Teaching is such a priority at this institute. Knowledge-wise, you build it very quickly, very fast, um, without even thinking about it. It's, it's Mayo Clinic. It's a, the, the best training you can get. Um, and there's a lot of flexibility, especially because our program is, is smaller, to tailor the program to fit my interest, um, such as seeing diverse patients, uh, working in the outpatient setting, uh, and doing uh, research and, and building up my, my academic career as well. Hello, my name is Dr. Janice Blair, and I am the program director of the Internal Medicine Residency at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Well, we have uh, 30 residents currently in our program, uh, and we are growing this year and will continue to grow over the next uh, several years. Over the last six, six months, I've been able to you know, get, get to know every single one of my colleagues because we do work very closely together, uh, and we do have time outside of the, our clinical duties to get together and, uh, and play football and, uh, and sort of have a good time together. And uh, that's really important when you're working in a clinical team. Uh, when you know your colleagues, uh, the patients feel that because we work better together. We're a more efficient team, and that just elevates the level of quality in clinical practice. One of the benefits of our uh, residency is the low faculty to resident ratio. And that allows a very close, uh, a tight-knit uh, community with the learner and uh, the teacher. Uh, and um, the residents find um, a lot of availability. Um, the consultants are always willing to stop and to teach and to explain uh, what they may have been thinking when they made a recommendation. Uh, and that offers a very supportive uh, learning environment for our residents. I was looking for programs that would give me a very solid understanding in education in internal medicine and exposure to a lot of different pathologies and, and different disease states. And here at Mayo Clinic, we do get that exposure. We get to see a lot of the unique cases because for the most part, people travel from you know, all over the country, sometimes all over the world to come here for you know, just their unique medical issues or um, problems with diagnosis or just management of a lot of their medical diseases, which um, you won't be able to get in, you know, in a lot of places in the country. The desert southwest is a, is a place where, you know, uh, a place that makes training a little bit less uh, taxing as far as uh, the climate's concerned. You know, when every, everywhere else in the country uh, it's, it's snowing and, uh, you know, 10 below zero, we tend to have 70 degree weather and sunshine. So when you're working busy, uh, when you're very busy during the day uh, at the hospital, you know, that makes coming outside and uh, being greeted by nice warm temperatures really pleasant, uh, especially when it's in the middle of winter. I applied to programs, you know, throughout the country, primarily the East Coast and, the, and then the West Coast, and I, I chose Mayo Clinic Scottsdale, you know, one for its location. Uh, my family's from Los Angeles, so it's very close to that area. Um, and it's a wonderful place to live, you know, low cost of living. It's peaceful, it's quiet, um, but, you know, on weekends when you want to get away, you know, Las Vegas is close by, Grand Canyon is close by, Sedona is beautiful and close by, and Los Angeles too is just, you know, a couple hours drive away. So there's so much to do around here. Mayo Clinic has a, a reputation that is unmatched uh, across the world, and so giving yourself the opportunity to um, train in an environment like that, I think, is um, very, you know, it's invaluable.